Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And this week, I'm going to talk about all the things I learned from stretching my relaxer for 20 weeks. So if you want to know more, keep watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you can see all the videos on my channel about hair, beauty, skincare, and can really become a part of the conversation about all the things we can do to keep our hair healthy and strong. So, um, because of the world as we know it, I was not, once hair salons and everything had shut down, it was kind of a done deal in terms of getting touch-ups from me. Um, me personally, I was not about to take relaxer into my own hands and try to do it myself. So, if you look at my past videos, you will see lots of buns, lots of braid outs, a lot of protective styling because I was just not, I was just gonna make it through by doing the least so my hair could do the most once outside was open. So, I basically learned a lot about taking care of relaxed hair during this pandemic. One thing I learned was that you need to make sure that you are caring for three different types of hair. The relaxed hair, the natural hair, and the hair at the line of demarcation where those two types of hair meet. If you're using products that is on, that are only suited for straight, relaxed hair, when you have those natural roots, it's going to make it really hard to take care of the hair. Um, if you're using products only for the natural hair, then sometimes it might weigh down, make the ends greasy, and make it even more difficult to style or achieve the looks that you want. Um, so really making sure you have hair products that contribute to all of those phases of your hair is really important. Um, I have some videos about the best products for stretch and relaxer, so I will leave that in the description box. Um, and then also how to kind of do it. Um, another thing that I learned from this 19 weeks is that low manipulation is really key. Um, now that we're at the point where a lot of people are getting their first touch-ups, so many people are like they have to take off an inch or two of my hair and I'm just like why and it's because there was so much damage so many split ends because of me trying to style it every day and really um all that manipulation and all of that changing of your hair brushing combing tugging flat ironing blow drying it does cause damage to your hair and because your hair is already chemically treated that manipulation damage is just that more damaging and it's really that you want to touch your hair as least as possible and that you don't want to constantly be playing in it because that's going to contribute to that manipulation damage. Um, another thing I learned about stretching my hair for 19 weeks is that the health of your scalp is paramount. At the beginning, I was kind of focusing on my scalp. I was really focusing on my hair. And then there was a midway point where the dandruff was just outrageous and it was just like you have to do something for your scalp. And I've learned that all of these treatments and oils and leave-in conditioners and creams are great for your hair. But if your scalp is dry and starving for moisture and is just struggling, then you're not going to have quality hair growing out of your head. And if it's not quality hair, then it's problematic because then as it continues to grow, it's already going to have that issue in the hair shaft that's just going to continue in that strand of hair. And you really don't want that. So um, I really, really learned that scalp health is important. And I'm now, um, although I always use like dandruff shampoos and scrub my scalp and all this stuff, I'm really now going to take the time to find like a scalp scrub or exfoliator because I, it, I really need to make a conscious effort to continue keeping my scalp healthy now even though now the salons are open like I, I usually traditionally would stretch for 12 weeks so I need to be taking all the things I learned from this 20 week stretch and really applying it to my whole life because this is my hair I'm gonna keep it healthy as much as I wear wigs um, I love that I have a full head of healthy hair and that I'm able to rock it out so um, another thing I learned from this 20 week stretch. Um, I also learned that stretching is a lot easier than I thought um, and that I could possibly transition if I wanted to. Not that everybody needs to transition and you have to have healthy hair and all that. I mean, you have to do it to have healthy hair. That's not true. You can have relaxed healthy hair, 
but um I really realized that I could take care of hair if it's a lot of new growth and some relaxed hair um I understand why people keep it in braids and stuff also but I'm more confident with my skills of taking care of my hair and I'm really proud of that um lastly I think I learned that you can learn so much from YouTube um YouTube and Google so basically searching for different products trying to see what is a product that is good for dandruff but also chemically treated hair that doesn't cause a lot of harshness and what kind of shedding is good shedding and how much shedding should I expect and how much shedding is too much shedding and is my hair breaking or is it shedding and there's all these questions that you have while you're going through your stretched hair journey and I was really able to continue to educate myself and make sure that I did best practices for my hair because of YouTube as a resource and the internet so in closing let's continue to stretch our relaxers let's continue to have healthy hair let's keep this going now granted i'm not going to try and do 20 weeks again but now i know i can and i definitely want to make it a priority to make sure that not only does my hair look cute when i'm like on camera and like in real life in these streets but i definitely want to make sure that it looks cute and healthy and i can continue to have great hair so thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any tips or tricks that you use for stretching your relaxer, please leave them in the comments below so we can talk about um, what we could do moving forward to make sure we keep this healthy hair. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.